Hi guys! I am very excited about this video. So a few months ago my friend asked me to do her makeup for her wedding day and obviously I'm not a makeup artist, I am not a professional so I was a little bit nervous um, but I was also really excited to give it a shot and so this video is um, kind of a trial that we did a few months before the wedding just to test it out and see what would work. Um, I knew I wanted to do a video of this because my friend has hooded eyes so it would have been um, a little new for me because I'm not used to doing makeup for hooded eyes um, but um, she just turned out to be a completely beautiful stunning bride she definitely didn't need uh, the help of a makeup artist because she's naturally gorgeous but I'm so thankful that she uh, was brave enough to allow me to do her makeup because um, like I said I'm not a professional um, but I think we did okay. It turned out not too bad as far as the makeup is concerned. So I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, and this tutorial for hooded eye makeup. I'm starting out with the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base uh, to prime her eyelids. This is really good if you have more oily eyelids. And then I will be going in with MAC Eyeshadow in Cork and just putting that just above the crease, in the crease and above the crease to create, um, kind of lift the crease up a little bit and create more of an illusion of an eye shape. With hooded eyes, once the eyes are open, you kind of don't see the lid in the crease. That's why I'm going just above the crease here and I'm going on the outside edges too to create the shape for the eye. Then taking a very pretty shimmery gold color from the NYX Smoky Look Collection, I'm just patting that in the center of the lid to create create a nice base. And now I'm taking a very light gold from color from the same collection and putting that on the inside corner of the eye. And I decided to intensify that color so I used Snobby from the Nude Tude palette from the Balm to go over that light gold and create a little more emphasis on the inner eye. And it never hurts to blend, so I'm just going over the crease and the outside corner to do some more blending. Here I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and in Internal Sunshine and just using my finger to place that on the middle center of her lid and that creates a beautiful shimmery golden color. And that's the look so far. But of course we're not done so I'm using a deep brown from the NYX palette and I am tracing out the shape and the edge of the eye going over the medium brown tone that we use and just deepening it, the color and adding a little more emphasis. And of course some more blending. Using the Benefit Highbrow Highlighting Pencil, I'm just putting that right under the eyebrow to create a highlight. And I'm just using a brush to blend that out. I'm just adding some more of the L'Oreal Infallible Golden Eyeshadow to the center lid just to freshen it up. And I'm removing any eyeshadow fall fallout from her face to prepare it for foundation. I'm not done with the eyes, I just do my makeup in really weird order so I will be back to complete the eyes after I do the foundation. I'm using Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer to prime her face. This is also really good for oily skin and for weddings you definitely don't want to take a chance. You want to make sure that you stay matte all day. And now going in with Sleek from the Nude Tude palette, I am just taking a small uh, eyeliner brush and lining the lash line. I don't recommend using a liquid liner for hooded eyes since a lot of it won't be seen and there's a good chance of it transferring to the lid. Thank you. 
and I'm taking a small smudge brush to just blend everything in. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear in NC25 with a kabuki brush. This is actually one of the products that we ended up not using on the actual wedding day just because it looked a little too heavy. We ended up going with a lighter BB cream. Another product that we ended up not using is this concealer from Clinique. I actually don't have this concealer so I don't know exactly the name of it but it also ended up looking really heavy and it also creases under the eyes so we went ahead and replaced it with I believe a MAC Pro Long Concealer. And I'm filling in the eyebrows using the Bib Brow Pomade by Anastasia. Here I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Sole Bronzer in Light Medium to contour the face and I'm just going under the cheekbones and around the face and just contouring the nose a little bit. And I actually don't remember what blush I used here. I believe it was from the BH Cosmetics palette. And once again, I'm going back to the eyes using the color Sassy just to do a slight highlight on the brow bone. And going in with L'Oreal Waterproof Voluminous Mascara, I'm just prepping the eyelashes for some false lashes that we're going to apply in a second. And there they are. And I'm going over the lash line with dark eyeshadow to conceal the false eyelash. Here I'm using a lip liner by Jordana to line the lips and it's out of frame so you can't really see it. And I'm filling in the lips with the lip liner before going over them with the Revlon Color Stay Lipstick in Ultimate Suede. And I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to just clean up around the edges of the lips to make sure there are no imperfections. And this is the final look. Unfortunately, this is the only picture that I took while her hair was still being done. Uh, but it gives you a pretty good idea of the look that we came up with. So that was the end result. Um, like I said, she was an absolutely stunning bride and the wedding was really beautiful and I was just really glad that I got to be a part of it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, it was interesting and um, very uh, kind of good for me to be able to do makeup on a different eye shape. Um, and so I'm super excited that I had that experience, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions, um, you can comment below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!